and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be on how I cover, conceal dark spots, post acne marks, scarring, hyperpigmentation, basically all your lies. <laughs> no, but really, those of you who have been following me on Instagram know that I have been going through it with my skin the last couple of weeks, but I can finally say that I have cleared up all of my active acne. There is no more acne on my skin. Ooh. Raise the Lord, except for the scars that are left behind, the dark spots, and there's a lot of them, which is okay, we are halfway there, but today I wanted to show you how I cover and conceal them properly, that way they don't show through your makeup, and this is a non-cakey way to do it. I mean, if you look at my skin right now, it doesn't look caked on, and everything is covered, so I'm gonna show you how to do that today. Even though today I'm showing you how to conceal your skin, don't feel like you need to. Honestly, on an everyday basis, I just embrace it. I walk around with all my scars open for everyone to see, and I don't care. I stopped caring a while ago because I know it's not permanent, it's gonna go away, and why should I let it affect my everyday life or how I feel? So let's get started. <laughs> so right now I have nothing on my skin besides some falsies. I already prepped my skin with a hydrating primer. Honestly, just any moisturizer will do. This is from Laura Mercier and my skin is ready to go. The first step is to color correct using a green shade. I'm gonna use this concealer from LA Girl. As you can see, um, I only have red scarring left. This is post acne scarring. This is going to cancel out all of the redness and discoloration. So I'm just gonna squeeze them out and start applying this on all of the scars that I want to cover up. If I don't do this step and I just go in straight with foundation or concealer and just layer foundation concealer like how most people do, you will still see gray spots underneath, at least for me, because I have a lot of them. So if I just do foundation and powder and everything, I will end up looking like I have gray spots. So I found that using a green concealer actually just canceled everything out and it doesn't peek through your foundation when you put it on top. And you really don't need a lot of this. I am gonna blend this out in just a second, but you don't wanna put a ton of green concealer on and then put on foundation because then it's gonna turn into a mess and you're gonna look gray. <laughs> so really only put this where you need it. Now I'm going to start blending this out using patting motions, really pushing this into the skin and try to stay only on top of the scars. Don't, don't try to blend it all over your face. I do have to tell you guys that I only do this when I'm going out or I really want to just cover everything if I'm doing some sort of look. But on an everyday basis, honestly, I don't care. I will go outside looking like this. We all go through these skin periods and I... You really shouldn't like focus on it so much. I am really proud of getting rid of my texture. So my skin is completely flat. So it's a lot easier for me to cover as opposed to someone who has really textured, like active acne skin. Um, this will still work, but obviously you can't take away texture, you can't hide it, but at least you will be able to conceal the discoloration and the dark spots. But I think this is pretty good. As you can see, it canceled out all the redness. Now what you wanna do is go in with a concealer. I love using this one because it's full coverage and it's hydrating as well. There's nothing worse than putting a drying product on top of acne prone skin because the skin is already so dry and irritated you don't want to be putting on anything that's going to dry it out even more this one is really nice and hydrating the born this way multi multi-use sculpting concealer i'm in the shade light beige this is basically like my foundation color so you want to use a shade that is going to be the same color as your foundation i'm going to apply this on top not a lot just to cover all the green basically I'm going to take the same brush and start patting this in. And as you can tell already, it like completely covered it and there's no redness peeking through. There's no gray spots. If your scarring is really dark and you need something a lot thicker, I would recommend the Huda Beauty concealer. These are like no joke. It will cover tattoos, everything, but on my skin, it's very drying. But that concealer is really nice for covering pretty much anything as well. And I did want to mention if you're doing these steps with a beauty blender, I feel like it just kind of eats half of your product. Product, so I would just use a brush. So notice that I didn't do any buffing at all. Every product that I've applied 
you want to just pat because you don't want to disturb anything underneath. So now you want to go in with your foundation. Honestly, at this point, you can use whatever foundation you want because we've done most of the concealing. But I like to go in with a medium to full coverage concealer, preferably matte because if you have texture and you apply a really dewy foundation, it's just going to enhance that texture and you're going to be able to see it. So I would recommend doing a matte foundation. I love these two. I'm actually going to mix them. The Matte and Poreless from Maybelline and the Super stay full coverage from Maybelline. I'm going to mix these two and I'm actually going to skip the beauty blender for this part as well and just use a kabuki brush like this. This one's from Sigma. This is just my favorite foundation kabuki style brush. And again, I'm just going to go in and buff it all in. Try not to do swirly motions. Just try to kind of buff it in. So that's the foundation all done. As you can see, it doesn't look cakey. It still has a nice kind of sheen to it, but everything is covered. You're not seeing any green, you're not seeing any red or gray. I'm gonna go in with some concealer and do a little bit of highlighting. For this part, I do use my Beauty Blender, and if you are going to as well, just be really careful to not touch like these areas that we concealed because it will literally pick off your foundation. I've done it before, I had to go in and cover it back up again, so just be careful and try to keep it under your eye. The way that I actually like to add bronzer is with cream contouring because once we set all this and then you apply bronzer, sometimes it can kind of buff away everything that you've layered on. So I like to just do it with cream contour. Same concealer, just darker. And I just do a little bit. And honestly, this makes such a difference. It makes you look really bronzy. And also, since it's a concealer, if you have acne or scars along this way, it will keep them hidden. So as you can see, it gave it really nice definition like a bronzer would, but it didn't take away anything that we covered up. So now that our base is done, we can finally go in and set it. I'm going to use the Too Faced Born This Way powder. This one is really nice and non-drying. I love the Laura Mercier one, but that one is really drying when you have dry skin. I like to take it on a really soft brush and just start patting setting thy face. I'm gonna go in now in bronze using the LC bronzer in the shade medium with a really, really soft brush. I do a little swirly motion. But once I get to here, you wanna pat once again. <laughs> Don't wanna disturb anything. So then for blush, you wanna do the same thing. I'm actually gonna use the same brush. I love this one from Laura Mercier, it's the shade Peach. And again, you wanna just pat this in. Now this is where I go in and basically set everything, all the powders, I want them to melt together. So just use any setting spray, honestly. I like the all nighter. And this is just basically gonna melt all the, all the concoctions together and make it flawless. So if you have texture where you would normally highlight, I mean, I don't, so I'm, I am gonna highlight. But if you do have texture up there, I would recommend either skipping the highlight or kind of just doing it where you don't have texture. So if you have texture in this area, you're only gonna accentuate it and then it's just, it's not gonna look cute. Okay, I'm gonna do my brows and I'll come back. What a transformation, right? You can't see any redness, no dark spots, no discoloration, no green, nothing. This routine is foolproof. Definitely try it out. If you guys are trying to hide dark spots, acne, whatever it may be, try it out. Let me know if it works for you. I really hope this was helpful for you. I hope you took away some tips and tricks from this video. If you guys enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. It will help me out a lot. Subscribe below and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.